Greetings, Fright Nights and Monster Girls. We're back. I'm your old pal, Count Dracula from the planet Dracula. And I'm the Horror Guru. And we just saw Rob Zombie's 31. 31. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Fuck it. Spoilers. Well, I kind of feel bad because now people aren't going to know if we like the movie or not. <laughs> All right, we like the movie. <laughs> there, could, there ain't no way. There is no way. There is no way we can't spoil this movie. You, to talk about it <laughs> is to spoil it. Oh man, yeah. This movie, this movie is is really fucked up, and uh, I really enjoy it. Um, uh, like I have, I have a couple minor complaints, but but some of them I think are might they might be results of the butchering he probably had to do for the MPAA. To be honest, I would agree because like, you could see this thing is cut down to an R, and you're like. This looks like it's cut down to yeah, an R. Yeah, like, there are many sequences where Woo! I was like, okay, I can't tell if this is actually quick cut this way intentionally, or if it's quick cutting out away from the graphic stuff from yeah. the rating. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, and, you know. And, and, and it was one of those things where, because it's also like, it's a Rob Zombie film, so there's a lot of handheld stuff, because he's, it's quick cutting a lot in these sequences, it's hard to tell what's going on sometimes. And, like I said, if either, either steady the camera or extend the cut, which might be the original cut of the movie. Who knows? Yeah, who like, knows? But to give you an example of what we're talking about, there is straight up fucking in this movie. Oh, yeah. There you is. know, it's not shot like porn, but it is straight up fucking. No two ways about it. No fucking getting cute. It's just dude fucking girl in the ass. And, and to be fair, in that sequence, I did know what was going on there. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> knew you know, what was happening. I meant, I meant during some of the murder sequences where like the yeah. camera is like yeah. cutting, like trying to cut away from some of the blood, but it's also shaky cam. So I'm like, oh man, wait, oh, no. Wait, that, that, and I'm like, okay, I'm willing to bet that some of this confusion I'm having here is probably due to the rating. Yeah. You know, is trying to keep it an R because this movie was submitted to the MPA, MPAA like multiple times. Um, like, like he had to fight to get this to an R rating. So yeah. like, who knows what the unrated cuts like? Yes. Because this is, this is super fucked up as it is. Yeah. And the, one of the things that's really interesting about this movie is this movie is both a combination of Rob Zombie film alums and some newcomers. Yep, yep. There's some, there's some, there's some great new faces in here. Yeah, yeah. Some of whom have been in the background before, but now they get prominence. Prominence, like the guy who played the character Doomhead. He's oh, been in a couple of Rob Zombie flicks, but yeah, he's always I'm, like I'm ambulance pretty, driver or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the ambulance driver in Halloween Two at the beginning, who's talking about like fucking the fucking the corpse and stuff like that. Oh my god! Which, which is such an unnecessary scene in Halloween Two that I find hilarious. Oh all. yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> Oh my god, like, yeah. I don't know how to... He's amazing in this movie. He is, he is. How to put it. Doomhead, if you want to know what Rob Zombie's Joker looks like, it's Doomhead. Oh, most definitely. And to even hammer the point home... Harley Quinn's in this movie. Essentially, Harley Quinn is <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> Fucking, the, the... Okay, so in Devil's Rejects, the voice actress who plays... Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls, who is also the She's love now... interest in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, yes. played a hooker in that movie. In this movie, she basically plays Harley Quinn. Yeah, she's in this movie. For those of you who like voice actors, she's in this fucking movie. Oh my god! So and she does that. To, she does that. You know, she she does that. You know, kind of crazy, tough girl, squeaky talk like you know she does that and you're just watching her fucking kill a dude i keep with it. these fucking like pigtails on and she's got like the bondage outfit and she's got makeup and she's just smiling the whole time like, like, like yeah i'm gonna kill you real slow like, like straight up if, if all you needed Whoa. was if she just added the new jersey twang to it it would have yeah, been harley it's quinn just harley quinn <laughs> you know it's harley quinn without the new jersey twang. yeah yeah horror it's movie harley quinn is what that was yeah. and you're just watching it going 
Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, this movie, this movie's crazy. This yeah, is, it's super nuts. Well, that's the best way I could describe this movie. It's Rob Zombie doing a, a fucked up combination of Battle Royale and Slashers. Yes. Set on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, with with Malcolm McDowell as yeah. like the villain behind. And I was curious if the Malcolm McDowell part was based on the Hunger Games. It felt it, like it was. It felt like yeah. he was playing off like the Hunger Games, but making it super fucked up. Yeah, because they're yeah. dressed in like this like ye old like regal outfit that's like like from like yeah with the big powdered wigs like from yeah. the French Revolution. Yes, kind of exactly. Shit. Yeah, you know, and that's really obvious that that's what they're going Which was for. one of the eras that I believe, like, inspired some of the looks of, like, the rich people in the Hunger Games. So, yeah, like, yeah, because that was a period of time. Well, that was um, Let Them Have Cake. Yeah. Where the aristocrats were so fucking removed from the common people that they just did nothing while everyone was starving and had no fucking yes. idea that there was this real revolution brewing that was gonna fucking bulldoze them absolutely to the point where like when they caught them they hung them in the streets most definitely whoa yeah that there's a definitive like there is definitely that kind of like the rich eat you oh, absolutely you know kind of shit going on and if any of you are fans of the game manhunt this is basically that the movie oh, man yeah <laughs> like yeah like like, like, the, like the plot details are a little different but the basic idea of these people in this one location just murdering each other like that's that's it. Yeah, with these fucked up costumes and shit. Absolutely. Oh, man. This one has more of a carny theme. It does. <laughs> it's it's way more carnival because Rob Zombie was a carny Absolutely. and he does what he knows. You know, so you have like fucked up clown and like midget Hitler. <laughs> oh my god, midget Hitler. <laughs> midget, Holy mi crap. He wasn't just midget Hitler, he was Hispanic midget Hitler. Yeah. Who spoke Spanish the whole time. Yeah, was... and like Yes. <laughs> this fucking Zig Heiling while he's got Hitler bondage outfit on, a little fucking like mustache paint under his thing, he's covered in blood as he's fucking like getting people in the groin and shit. I'm gonna get you, Cinco. Oh. Like, gonna get you, Cinco. <laughs> hey! Puto, puto! <laughs> you know, he's great. It's like, what the fuck? That guy was awesome. <laughs> Fucking you know, the Chainsaw Brothers, which, hey, let's be honest, if we had a bit in that movie, that would be us. Chainsaw Brothers are fucking great. Those oh guys are awesome. Oh my god. I forgot what their names were. Um, I, I, I forget too, but they were like, yeah, all these guys have names. Like, Hitler guy is sick head. Yes. Um, the Chainsaw Brothers also have names, but they're... I can't they're the remember. Chainsaw Brothers. I don't um, know how else to put it. Har Har the, the Harley Quinn kind of character and her big, strong like partner were Sex and sex Death. Sex and head. Death, yeah. Um, like, they call them Sex and Death in the movie, but in the credits they added the heads, so I guess they are yeah. technically heads. Yeah, and the big badass that they bring in at the end once our God heroes damn. have killed everybody, all the other fucking people who are supposed to kill them is Doomhead. Like, I, and I, he starts the movie, like, actually. I want him to make a sequel to 31 in the Devil Re Devil's Reject style just about Doomhead. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I would watch yeah. the shit out of that. Like, fucking, I don't know how they would do it. I don't know how you could do it. But if Rob Zombie could figure out a way to pit the Firefly family against these assholes. You know, the funny part holy is. Holy shit, the funny that'd be part awesome. Is, I, like, it wouldn't have made sense. No. But, but, like, at the end of the movie, when she's, like, walking down that highway after all this fucked up shit that happened. Yeah, yeah, when they're doing the Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. I was so expecting, like, Captain Spaulding to pull yeah, up. me too. <laughs> like, me too. Like, the end of fucking the House of a Thousand Corpses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was totally waiting for it. I was like... Dude, if Captain Spaulding or fucking Otis shows up, I'm gonna buy it. If fucking Baby shows up, and despite the fact that, sh that Sherry Moon Zombie is in the movie already as a different character, I'd be like, yes. There is one thing that doesn't happen in the movie that I was kind of hoping would happen, and I'm not sure if you were having the same thought or not, but like... I was kind of hoping if you win the game, you become one of the killers. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> I was it, expecting it, doesn't it would happen go that, that way. way. Yeah. It doesn't go that route. But I was kind of hoping that's where it was going. Well, yeah, because like <laughs> she was the first one to get really bloodthirsty. Yeah. You know? Yeah, where she was just like, no, we can like, just I, kill him. I kind of thought like you when know? she won the game, they were going to like bestow her a title. Like, you know? Yeah, Like, like yeah. Slut head or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, you know, fuckhead. That would have made the movie head. even like more amazing. But it's great as it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really obvious that Rob Zombie <laughs> kind of wanted to do one of his fuck you endings. Yes, yes. You know, which he did at the end of Halloween. He did it in Lords of Salem. Well, this and... one's this one's great and and kind of ambiguous too. Yes, You're yeah. Like, it's a you... very ambiguous ending. Now, before we say <laughs> ambiguous ending, but just to let you know, they do resolve all the plot shit before mm. we get to this ambiguous ending. This is like this. Is... This is an ending that feel that's a lot like the the original hills have eyes yeah yeah absolutely and it's also one where if he wanted to make a sequel he could just pick up right there oh yeah like, absolutely <laughs> you can pick up at that instant you know and, and i would totally buy it like if he wants to i, I totally, totally watch 32 oh yeah <laughs> Oh, but yeah. even though it wouldn't make sense because it's called 31 because Halloween, but you get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But if they just went like another 31. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, 31. 31 the next day, you know. <laughs> fucking, I would so totally fucking watch it. Now, I'm going to be, I no, fuck it. I was going to say this thing where I'm going to go like, well, this movie's not going to be for everybody no fucking go watch it to be fair go Rob Zombie it. said that like like because at the beginning of the movie they the, he like presented like he was did like this little interview before the movie and like he even self said like he does not make movies for everybody like, no <laughs> he makes movies no. that people like him he, enjoy. he makes movies for us yes you know he makes movies for us and if you're like well, I really need like these certain things and these kind of vision. Fuck, if fuck, you, let it go. If you do not like House of a Thousand Corpses, if you don't like The Devil's Rejects, if you don't like, well, I, if you don't like Lords of Salem, you might still like this because it's a different kind of movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like those two movies, House of a Thousand Corpses, Cor Corpses, and Devil's Rejects. If you don't like those two movies, you probably won't like this. Yeah, movie. yeah. Just if you don't, <laughs> and you have a problem with either one of those, excuse me. Don't bother. Because this is way more in their vein than uh, the Halloween or um, oh, yeah. Lords of Salem. Mm -hmm. This is way more, this is him harking more back to yeah, what he started yeah, yeah. doing. Some of, the, uh, some of the beautiful long shots that he does with the interior oh. where the aristocrats are. Oh, absolutely. That is very like Lords of Salem. Well, there's some like really beautiful shots in this movie, which is kind of why I was Beautiful kinda... decay. Yes, which is how I was really decay. sad. He obviously had to cut like so much just to keep a rating because yeah, I would because love... that set looked fantastic. Yeah, I would love to see like more lingering shots because he, like, even the double like the thing is like how I can tell that some of this obviously must have been cut in the editing room is that most of his movies have a very consistent editing style that is kind of sped up in this. Yeah, and yeah. Usually, usually his ed editing is very, um, very consistent, and recently it's been very deliberately slow. The, but there is some editing in here that's a little more reminiscent of some of the shit that was happening in the House of a Thousand Corpses, which happened when they weren't sure what they were doing and they just had to fill time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they <laughs> did extra scenes because they're like, oh, shit, they were just we're throwing short. anything at the wall. Yeah, you know. Whereas this movie didn't feel like like it was it was doing that. It just it it literally felt like it was trying to avoid some blood shots and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, you know. In fact, did. I would even be curious to find out if the opening of the movie wasn't originally in black and white because I know that's a trick that Tarantino's used before. Mm. Where in order oh to yeah, get... you're right. It's it starts in black and white for kind of no reason. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I'm wondering if the, it, it could totally be intended that way. Yeah. But like, for example, uh, in Kill Bill, uh, the scene where it, it goes black and white and he's like during the big fight with all like yeah. images and shit. That was originally in color. The reason why it's been black and white in the final movie is because once he turned it to black and white, he didn't have to cut anything for the MPAA because it was the color red they didn't like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, Speaking of which. Yes. Red. So I'm curious if the opening was originally in color. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out. Yeah. You know, like this is obviously uh, a movie. Rob that, knows Tarantino, so it's like the kind of trick you would totally pass Yeah, yeah, on. yeah. Totally. Totally. Oh man, um, love this movie. Uh, it is basically you could have just called this thing "Kill Blood Orgy." Yes, absolutely. Just, just called it "Kill Blood Th Orgy." This is this is this movie would get flagged really hard by YouTube. Oh this, yeah, yeah. You can. This movie is sex. This movie is violence. This movie is vulgarity. This movie is people being very mean to one another. This movie is murder. This movie is. Gore. Yeah, this if, movie is. Oh my this god! This is mean spirited. Like this is. Oh all, yeah, it's mean spirited. This is all the things that pisses people off. 
so often these days, and I loved it. I oh, loved God, it. Oh God, I like, loved every minute of it. Every minute of it was just completely you know, fucking. Like I really it. want an unrated cut because I want more minutes of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just to let you know, there was a special screening in our area, which is how we got to see it. You still gotta wait a little bit before you can go to the theater. What the, hey, that's good. Then now they know to go see it. Yeah, you know? now it, it, go see it. You, you've been warned, you know. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like fucking, the fucking the girl. We're pretty sure is Tara Strong. I, I I'm pretty sure. That was yeah, cool. yeah, I, yeah. That that like, looked and sounded like Tara. Yeah, Strong. like you just look at her and everything she's doing in this movie, and you're like. I don't know how to put it other than you didn't realize that level of sexy was in her. Oh, absolutely. I did not know. Whoa. That. I'm like, I'm like, holy crap. Just I'm like, I'm, not, I'm watching her up. and I'm just like, I feel bad that I'm attracted to bubbles right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm macking on the girl. The voice is like fucking buttercup for the pop up. I feel weird, yeah, yeah. man. I feel weird, but oh my fuck. Oh my god! Yeah, she was pretty hot in this movie. Oh my god, she's super hot, hot in this movie. One thing I was, despite the fact that, like, obviously she's like, she's obviously pushing fifty. Yeah, but it kind, but it completely doesn't matter because she's just got that oh, she's sexiness. Got the ranked it up. She's got the presence. Yeah, like, and fucking. Oh man, and speaking of like obviously aged, but still got the magic meg foster is in this movie oh she's great the minute she's the most sympathetic she's super sympathetic like, like yeah. she is the one out of everyone where if you need someone to latch on to who's not a bad person she seems like yeah she's the one yeah 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 absolutely and the funny thing is is you look at her like the last time we saw anything from meg foster was lords of salem where you know like she looks old i mean she's got that like I've been LA tanning for fucking 40 years kind of look to her. But the thing that always gives her aware are those piercing blue eyes. And the minute you see those eyes, you're always like, it's always like they're fucking, you're, you're yeah, getting well, sucked yeah. into well, them. What I thought was amazing is that even though she's, she's like an older lady now. Yeah. Like, like her eyes, like watching her eyes when all this awful shit is happening. I'm like, damn, this is an old lady who feels like a final girl. Yeah. Like, like, you know, yeah. And that was kind of amazing. I've never seen that. Like, yeah, yeah. No, we've never actually, we've never, usually uh, women that old are just killed off immediately. Or they're, yeah. or they're like the evil witch. Or they're, yeah, or they're evil witches. I mean, Meg Foster played an evil witch yes. in fucking Lords of Salem. Yes. You know, but in this one, she's just completely sympathetic. Yes. You know, and I found myself going like, God damn it. If only they had, if they had gotten her a little bit sooner she'd have been an amazing mama firefly oh yeah yeah she, you know she the did. the the woman they got to play her in devil's rejects because karen black couldn't come back was fantastic yes but now i'm looking at this and going like oh man if it had been meg foster that would have hit that the have been great. fucking stratosphere that could have been fucking great yeah you know? whoa man damn so much about this movie is good and i feel weird because like this is the kind of movie where i know so many people are gonna watch it and like fucking hate the main cast yeah yeah but, but i you actually remember kinda... this movie is very insp this is still this is in rob zombie's mm -hmm. 70s vein where he's just like i fucking love 70s movies yeah but it's like, an exploitation flick made today definitely like i was sitting there watching the movie and i'm like these guys are vulgar they're kind of mean to one another but i kind of like them all like yeah. i like yeah i kind of like them all yeah they're kind of they're kind of <laughs> assholes well i like yeah, i like them all in a way that i didn't like the main character, the 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 normal kids from House of a Thousand Corpses. Agreed, one hundred percent agreed. Absolutely, like these feel like the kind of main characters Rob Zombie should probably do more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't feel like they don't feel like snotty college kids. They feel they were carnies. Yes, you know, and they do awful shit and they say mean things. Yes, and they don't always treat each other perfectly well. But they felt real, and they felt like they were normal people and plus you have the nice dichotomy of like the normal like 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 the normal carnies who are still kind of vulgar and fucked up and stuff like that and the evil carnies yeah yeah know? the evil carnival people you who know? are just here to just butcher folks and i also like that this movie doesn't fuck around there's like oh, no, no backstory no, there's no. like no there, there's like no there's like no like 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 super setup it's just like oh shit they, they just got kidnapped and now they're in 31 yeah the, the oh man <laughs> the detail i loved that comes right at the fucking end is they imply that this has been going for a on for a very fucking long time, and they link it 
to Jack the Ripper. Nice. Because, nice. and that's when I realized, oh my God, that's, there are five victims. Mm -hmm. There were five Ripper murders. Oh my God, that's what they're doing. That's what he's doing. He's like, oh yeah, these people have been around and this is what they do. And well, did, that's did, how. Did you notice uh, the way Doom had dressed? Yeah. Oh, well, fucking yeah. yeah. In the in the beginning, Doom <laughs> Head is just like just bare skin is like staring right yeah, yeah. at the camera. You know, so you don't really see him in an outfit. But when we run into him again near the end, after he fucks this woman in the ass, he goes through this whole ritual of putting which is an important plot on. point, by the way. It is a very important plot <laughs> point. He goes through this whole ritual of assuming the identity of Doomhead. And it's this Joker like, it's this fucking like Two Faced Joker like transformation. Like, but it's all emotional. Yeah. Like, yeah. to the point where he's just like, I am not crazy. I am in control. I am. Not. And after he's punching himself in the fucking face, like, imagine if the Joker's grin was created by him literally fucking punching himself in the face so bad, the blood just splattered. Yeah, yeah, and made it look like like a fucking clown's grin. It's fucking. That's what I fucking mean by this is Rob Zombie's version of the Joker. Well, yeah. But he has this elegant outfit on with an ascot when he starts the the murders. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, this is awesome. So I guess this is to symbolize that he's a, somewhere a step between the normal killers and the aristocrats who were holding the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't catch that it was a Jack the Ripper thing because he didn't have the top, the classic top hat. No, which no, he you didn't. always give Jack the Ripper the top no, no, hat. No, no, he didn't have that. He didn't have that, which, which, which would have been maybe that would have been too on the nose. That might have been too on the nose. <laughs> Plus, like, he looks so good. He like, does. Like every time he was on screen, I'm like, I know he's the evil killer, but he looks so badass. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. They they build that guy up, and the funny thing is, is it's one of those build ups where you're like, he doesn't actually do a lot. But he's he is, so intense. He is used perfectly. Yeah, in yeah, the he's movie. used perfectly. Every time he's on screen, he is one hundred percent super captivating. And when he does strike, it's sudden and it's brutal. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is you think that by the way the movie opens that this is guy, this guy is going to be a complete scene chewer. But no, the reality is, is this man has calm moments. Yeah, very calm moments. And that gets creepy. <laughs> and, and, and and the funny thing is, is that when it got to his point in the movie, when he like took over as the yeah. killer, like I noticed that the editing of the movie started to feel more like a Rob Zombie movie. It did. It did. Because that's the point where it's all, it's way more about like tension and atmosphere, yeah. you know, because he's arrived and now things are shifting and it's less about like yeah. the brutal killing so much as watching the brutal killer. Well, Cause now it's a cat and mouse, cat and mouse game. Yeah. You know, and now he's playing with his prey beforehand and he's talking in this way. Like, yeah. he, like you, you're not wrong when you, when you mentioned the Joker, he out jokered Leto and I liked Leto. Yeah. Yeah. I loved, I loved <laughs> Leto's Joker, but I'm like, this guy is so like if that it's one of those if Batman fought this Joker, Batman would have problems. I'd be scared for Batman. Yeah, if he fought this Joker. Yeah, Jesus Christ, this Joker's fucking terrifying. Like, goddamn. Like, and he just seemed like he was just like a like he's just like a normal asshole. Yeah, he's a normal like re, like in his normal life, he's just a normal but like once redneck he gets into asshole. The, the, once he gets into the character, he becomes terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is gonna fucking kill you it's okay it's nothing personal i'm gonna kill you and i'm gonna do it slow that's the way the game is played and that whole theme of that 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 goes throughout that character which is that's the way the game is played that it happens right Look up to the, the eyes of a champion. Of a champion. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. He's choking Sherry Moon. He's just oh like, they basically watch me watch you killing you. Yeah. Well, you're just sort of like, oh my God. Because the funny thing was, normally this would be the moment where like the final girl gets the upper hand. But the reality is, is I'm like, no, she can't get the upper hand here. He's doom. Yeah. Yeah. How is she? How? 
if she fucking if she fucking gets the upper hand, the movie all of a sudden doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, and it also made it abundantly clear at that point that this is also the point in a movie where normally like someone who had previously died would show up and like save the day. Yeah, but, like there is no There's way. There's no one left. There's no way any of these people could come back. Like someone got crucified. Like like you know yeah. like, you know like these people are dead. Like they... yeah. Oh man, the banquet scene. Whoa. Oh geez. The funny thing was is like you're watching it and you're like. The dead guy's in the table. The <laughs> dead guy's in the table. They're eating him. You, I knew it from that moment. And I'm just sitting there going like, you know what? I also like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of that in here. You know what this needed? Yeah. Musical numbers. It did need more musical numbers. <laughs> it did. It did. Man. Thirty. Wait, wouldn't that just be Rebo the Genetic Opera? Yeah, to a certain yeah. extent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To a certain extent. Oh man, uh, this is this is the must see movie for Halloween if you're fucked up like us. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want the fucked up horror movie experience this year, go see Rob Zombie's Thirty One. Yeah, yeah. The it's two most fucked, fucked up, up movies I saw this year so far, Baskin and this. Yeah, the two most fucked up. Yeah, just yeah. just let it happen. Yeah, let it fucking happen. And uh, just to reiterate, man, uh, thumbs up. We would put thirty one thumbs up if we could. But of course, remember. If you're a nice, normal person, go watch the movie. Be like us. Hey, we got the Patreon. So kick in our buck or two a month so that we may continue Satan's unholy work. Also, we do a semi-regular stream about once a week. Uh, and the announcement of uh, when the next one is, is announced on my Twitter. So go follow me on Twitter and you'll get the announcement on uh, when the next stream is... And uh, who's going to be joining me? Although there's usually a surprise. So go do that, and uh, we will see you at the next one. Hail Satan.